Occupational health specifically looks at health in the workplace and the individuals and the activity and processes that they're involved with. Occupational health is a term often used to describe health conditions within the working environment. Sometimes these are conditions brought into work by an employee. Sometimes they are conditions made worse or contributed to by the work environment. The employer has a responsibility to manage these occupational health conditions and often they will use the services of an occupational health provider to assist with this. Occupational health is about looking at the impact health has on work and work has on health. It aims to reduce occupational health diseases developing, such as occupational asthma, hand and vibration, noise-induced hearing loss. Staff will be at risk in terms of workplace exposure if there's excessive noise, so that will affect their hearing. If there's excessive pressure, so it will uh, affect their mental ability. Uh, if there's excessive chemicals in the environment, uh, and that can be absorbed through the skin or breathed in. Well, workplace exposures might put some staff at risk by things like fumes, noise or vibration. Common health conditions that can arise from workplace exposure include respiratory disease, eye and skin irritation, muscle and nerve damage and cancers. You would identify if occupational health surveillance is needed by really having in place the risk assessment process, by knowing the jobs that people do. Um, so you need to identify the kind of what are the issues, what are the kind of risks involved. So the important thing is risk assessment, monitor and record what you have in place in terms of hazards, and then ensure individuals are not going to be harmed by the process or the activity. You would identify if occupational health surveillance is needed by always carrying out a risk assessment first, identifying the staff exposed, the hazard that presents itself. If a, re a risk remains in the workplace, you would need to put control measures in place, part of which may well be an occupational health surveillance programme. A good way to engage an occupational health provider is to first of all identify the key issues that you, you need them to provide in the workplace and after that you would scope out the additional aspects that you would want them to provide as well. A good way to manage an occupational health service provider is to um, first of all find out if the staff are qualified um, to the, the standards that you require and secondly to share risk assessments with them and to share reports with them. The occupational health provider would need to keep health records on your staff and they would need to be confidential etc. So they are some of the key aspects that you would need to know about engaging and managing an occupational health provider. Health surveillance generally is not a control. It is checking that controls are in place. You would select an occupational health provider who is able to work with your risk assessment work with the staff that you've identified at risk and in terms of management it would normally be they would set a program and they would normally come in and give appointments to those individuals that are at risk and they would therefore report on that and give you a health report. They would maintain the confidential records. Once you determine that you need to implement surveillance the first step is to become an intelligent customer. Know what you want from your supplier and what you would like from your supplier. Share with them any test results that have been carried out in the workplace and consider whether the surveillance should be carried out on your premises or on theirs. This will depend on the nature of the tests required. Well, occupational health specialists are different from GPs because they're specialists, practitioners in the workplace. They look at workplace hazards. So for example, issues like radiation or asbestos or lead or chemicals in the workplace, an occupational health service provider will be a specialist on that. <laughs>